Let's talk about C.J. Scrout and the Houston Texans. I believe with time, C.J. Scrout would transform the Houston Texans to being a playoff contending team. Not at the end of his rookie season, and maybe not even at the end of his sophomore season. But this team have made some good moves in free agency, and I believe they have the right pieces around C.J. Stroud to start him off as the rookie quarterback. When you look at the Houston Texans roster, they have some good pieces offensively when you talk about guys on the offensive line. But I want to start the running back room first. I love Damian Pierce. He's a very good running back, and last year he had the split carries at times with Rex Burkhead. He easily could have had over a 1,000 yards rushing, but he still had a very good rookie season, 939 rushing yards and four touchdowns passing. And they did that with a lot of bad play calling from, coming from Pep Hamilton. He went from being the quarterback coach to being the offensive coordinator. I think bringing in Bobby Sloick would be very good for C.J. Scrout, and you're putting him in a similar situation that he was in with Ohio State. But when you talk about Damian Pierce, he's a running back that can turn three to four yards and turn into a big game for 40 or 50 yards down the field. And he's a very good running back. He's one of the best young running backs in the NFL. And you also went into Francie and you paired him up with Devin Singletary. I think Devin Singletary is going to be a good counterpart to Damian Pierce. They're obviously going to run, want to run the football with this team. You have a very young quarterback that's going to figure some things out as the NFL season goes on. And the wide receivers on this team aren't the best. So they're going to be a team that's going to heavily depend on the run, especially with this strong offensive line in the interior with it getting better by adding in Shaq Mason. But Devin Singletary last year was a good running back for the Buffalo Bills. He's not over the top, but he's a good running back to have, and he's a solid option. 819 rushing yards last season and five touchdowns. And you talk about this offensive line, you have guys like Laramie Tunsil. He's extremely good, a very good tackle in the NFL. Titus Howard is also a good tackle as well. You drafted Keon Green in last year's draft class with Derrick Stanley Jr. in the first round. I believe that he'll continue to get better as a guard. As the season progressed, he got better, especially in pass protection. We all knew that he was a good running guard coming outside of college. We just need to see him get better with the pass protection, and he got better as the season progressed. And you also traded for Shaq Mason, who was a very good running guard as well in the NFL and is a solid option to have at the right guard position. So the office line will be solid. They were already solid from tackle to tackle with both of those guys looking like franchise cornerstones for this team. So you're going to have a very good offensive line to protect C.J. Scrout. The biggest thing is this with C.J. Scrout. He has sneaky mobility. We saw it in the Georgia game. That's the game that every scout likes to talk about. But he does have sneaky mobility. But he is at his best when he's able to stay in the pocket and dissect defenses. And if this office line can stand up for him and they can protect him and they can run the football efficiently enough, the play action will be able to work with this team. Because you also went to Fred and you added in Dalton Schultz as well, who was a good veteran tight end to have. He isn't a top tight end in the NFL has had some good seasons with the Dallas Cowboys but he can be a for sure handed tight end for CJ Scrout with 577 receiving yards last season and five touchdowns the one thing that does bother me with this offense is not even the play calling because you're bringing in a brand new offense coordinator and Bobby Slowick. He's the guy that's coming over from the San Francisco 49ers. He was a former pass game coordinator. I believe that he'll be doing a very fine job with CJ Stroud. He was right underneath Kyle Shanahan. The biggest thing that I'm worried about with this offense are the wide receivers. Now, John Mitchell III has a lot of high upside, and I believe that he could be a number one wide receiver for this team. He missed all last season, last season, dealing with Hopkins lymphoma. He is expected to play for this upcoming season. If he can live up to expectations, that will be a huge piece for C.J. Scrout. Robert Woods is also with this roster. The guy in free agency wasn't in the best situation last year with the Tennessee Titans, but he's not the same wide receiver he was with the Los Angeles Rams or with the Buffalo Bills. He's just a good number three wide receiver to have at this stage of his career. Not calling him a horrible wide receiver, but he is not the same wide receiver he was a couple of years ago. And Nico Collins is a fine wide receiver to have. 481 receiving yards last season and two receiving touchdowns. I do like the pick of getting Nathaniel Dale in the same draft class with C.J. Scrout. He's a guy that can go down the field, stretch the field, and can also do some things behind the line of scrimmage with his speed, but he will need a lot of developing going on as well. So they have some guys in the wide receiver room that can make some noise, but nobody over the top. Amari Rogers is also with this team with Noah Brown. Those are just veteran guys that have been in the NFL for quite some time now. They can help out C.J. Scrout but I expect for the wide receivers to struggle and to be a struggle spot for this team unless they go get a trade for a guy or 
they go into next year's free agency and try to get a guy that way. But the offensive line will be the strong spot of this team and also with the run game. And that should buy CJ Stroud enough time to get acclimated to the NFL while this team is still in their rebuilding process. Like I said, I don't expect for this to be an overnight type of fix with CJ Stroud. I do expect for them to still have some struggles, but they would be better for this upcoming season than they were for the last two years. We saw what happened with Dave Cully. He got fired after the one year. Last year with Lovey Smith, he got fired after one year. I believe you're bringing in D'Amico Ryan to stay with this team long term. You have to give him more than one year. And that's my biggest critique with Nick Casario so far. The draft moves have been very good. And he's made some very questionable roster decisions as well. But you got to get the head coaching right. And I believe that they're going to have an amazing head coach with D'Amico Ryans. He's the former defensive coordinator with the San Francisco 49ers. And we saw what Robert Sala has done with the New York Jets. I believe that D'Amico Ryans will bring that same edge over to this team because this defense is definitely going to need it. You have a transcendent talent in Will Anderson that you selected in the first round with C.J. Scrout. I believe that he's going to come in day one and give you a lot of production off the edge. He's going to be a run stop type of linebacker he's going to also give you a lot of pressure off the edge as well for a team that really needs pass rush counter side with jerry hughes jerry hughes last season had nine sacks and will anderson should be able to give you a lot of sacks his rookie season he will only continue to get better you're basically giving D'Amico Ryan's his own Nick Bosa, and I believe that Will Anderson has a higher upside than Nick Bosa. I like Malik Collins and Sheldon Rankins as well. Those are two big defensive tackles that can push the pocket, and most importantly, they're going to help stop the run and bring physicalness to this defense that this defense desperately needs, and I believe that they fit the D'Amico Ryan's role of guys that are going to go out there, play hard, and have their motor on for each and every play. The linebackers do give me a bit of a cause of concern, not because they're bad per se. I can see them struggling against certain tight ends and certain plays across the middle, but they're going to be very solid against the run. I just worry about the athleticism of these linebackers. I like Henry Toyoto that they selected from Alabama. He reminds me a lot of D'Amico Ryans when he came out of Alabama a couple years ago when he played with this team. I believe that he's going to be a guy that's going to be a huge thumper in the middle of the field. He's going to get you a lot of tackles, and he's going to be very good in blowing up the backfield as well. Henry Toyoto. Then you have guys like Denzel Perryman and Christian Kirksey, good veteran linebackers to have at the position. They know how to fill in their roles, and they've been in the NFL for quite some time. They'll be very acclimated to the system as well. The secondary is a bit interesting. You have guys like Steven Nelson, who is a good veteran to have. Isn't an over-the-top corner, but he's a good veteran to have. He can come in and help young guys like Derek Stingley Jr. Now, last year with Derek Stingley Jr., he had a lot of struggles. Some games, he was off. Some games, he was on. He had the basically the usual rookie season for a corner. I expect for D'Amico Ryans to come in develop him more and I expect for him to be a star on this team next season. He gets a lot of comparisons to Masos Garner. Both of those guys play a different type of game and you saw last year he was playing mostly in a lot of a Tampa 2 situation. Let Derek Stingley Jr. go out there and be a physical corner similar to how he was at LSU. Not for his last season with LSU but the year before he was one of the best corners in college. Go back to using him in that way and just let him be an aggressive corner that he is and you also have some other good pieces in the secondary i like bringing in shaquille griffin and i like bringing in jimmy ward as well jimmy ward comes over from the san francisco 49ers he's a guy that had three interceptions last season five pass deflections he's a guy that can come in fits in the miko ryan system and will help these guys in secondary get more comfortable with D'Amico Ryans and it's a guy that D'Amico Ryans can depend on in clutch situations do i expect for the houston texans to be contenders for this upcoming season, no. But I expect for them to win more than four or five games. I expect for CJ Scrap to have a lot of struggles, but at the same time, I expect to see a lot of good moments as well. If they can keep him protected behind this offensive line and the pass situation can work itself out off of the run game, I think they'll have something special with CJ Scrout. But this will be a long term type of thing. This will not be a short term fix. But let me know in the comment section below. Did they get it right by selecting CJ Scrout in the first round? And will the Houston Texans go back to being a playoff caliber team in the next couple of years? Or will they still be stuck in mediocrity? And how do you feel about them hiring D'Amico Ryans as the head coach? If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Most importantly, one each and last one, guys, stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Peace.